What's up, y'all? I want to show y'all how not to wire your car stereo. So you can see somebody used a bunch of wire nuts and they wire nutted everything together and there's a ton of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a lot of them. And this is the absolute worst way. Don't ever do this. Then you can see they got the little adapter here for the antenna. It's got like five of them on it. You only need one. So that's like a universal thing, which makes it a pain when you cram it back up in the little hole. Then it's got like all of these plugs, which some are necessary, some aren't even used. Then we've got the ground right here, wire nutted, of course. And then it runs all the way back to that bolt right there. That super rusted bolt. And it's like speaker wire. So yeah, never use these things. Not in, not in a car audio situation or any kind of vehicle because they vibrate loose. You know, over time they vibrate loose and if one breaks loose then you got a problem. So we're going to rip all of this out and we're going to get it cleaned up, trimmed up, zip tied, heat shrink, soldered. You know, we're going to make it legit and I'm going to show you all what it looks like done the right way. Alright, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Make sure you trim up all the little ends and bundle them together and get them all the same length and stuff. And you know, group your speaker wires, group your power wires, leave your remote separate and stuff. And then run your heat shrink all down on here like this to make it nice and tight. Alright, so now you can see you got all the wires matched up where they're supposed to be. And what you do is you just fan them out on both sides and then you stick the fans in each other and you just twist them all up on each other so you end up with this. Now when you're doing this you want to make sure you know you group them up good so that it's nice and neat when you put it all back together but now these things are ready to hit with some solder so. Alright now we're just going to hit this shit with a little bit of solder. Just put the soldering iron on here and you want to heat up the wire not the solder itself. And you want to heat it up from the back and let the solder flow. But what you can do to get it started is put a little bit on here. And you see it goes like that. And then you hit it. And it flows through the whole thing. And you want to make sure to get beginning to end. Just like that. And just repeat it for all of them. And now you can see it's perfectly soldered. You want to make sure that it flows all the way through or else you'll get what's called a cold solder joint and it'll break over time. You want to make sure it's nice and shiny. It's not dull at all and you want to make sure it flows all the way through and you don't have any stragglers. And then after that you just slide your heat shrink up here and just hit the thing with a lighter or heat gun until they're all heat shrunk. I'll give y'all a shot of this thing when it's completely done. Alright now you can see that they're all perfectly soldered. See them all? beautiful you want to make sure there's no sharp parts and stuff so get you a little file and just knock down the little sharp parts and now we're ready to heat shrink these so we're just going to slide our heat shrink and you know mark it about halfway where the heat shrink's going to go and put it on here and just hit it with a lighter until it shrinks down and just shrink them all up all right now to heat shrink this just make sure you get your heat shrink right in the middle of the solder part and you can use a heat gun, but you see how it's melting like that? You just want to go all the way around. And don't melt it, like don't burn it up. But just keep it moving. And do like that. You see how it's perfect. Make sure there's no little parts poking through and stuff, but you just go around and do that to all of them. It doesn't take long. I mean, it takes a couple minutes to do it, but that's how you do it and you might want to go back after they're done and just hit them again to see if they'll shrink up a little bit more but yeah just repeat this on all of them all right look at that beautifully heat shrunk all of them they're all beautifully heat shrunken i'll give you a quick close-up all right now it's time to put this thing back in the car 
There it is, y'all. Look how beautiful that is. All nice and bundled up, zip tied, heat shrunk, nice and pretty. You want to make sure to tape off any wires you don't use so they don't short out and then wrap them up, you know. But look how beautiful that is. So neat and perfect. So next time you're going to install some car audio in your car or truck, make sure the wire nuts stay at Home Depot, not in your vehicle. Thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.